In this video, we are going to discuss what a firewall is and how it works. In our previous few videos, we have seen what is network security and what are the network security threats. Here is some approach to how we can improve the security. Say we can install antivirus programs, we can have firewalls, we can have strong passwords. Let's look at some of the ways here again. Authenticating users accessing a service. So you find out whether the person who is accessing is, is authenticated, is authorized to use that or not. That can be done using passwords. These days passwords are uh, biometric passwords as well. For example, your thumbprint or retina imprint. Providing access to authorized users using encrypted passwords for remote logon. Say the server is situated at a place in office and the person who is accessing it is working from home. He or she needs to access it. So that is a remote logon. But then again, strong passwords for authorizing that remote logon. Restricting the traf traffic to and from the computer or the network. That is another way of reducing the computer security threat. Firewalls are the first line of defense against any Trojan virus or worm attack. So let's see what is a firewall. First let's see what is a firewall in general term. It is any wall that is erected to prevent a fire from expanding to the other side. In terms of computer or network, a system designed to protect an intranet from unauthorized access is a firewall. So there is a new term that we are using here which is called intranet. So what is an intranet? Intranet is a private network. Say your school, your college or your office has a network of its own and it is using the World Wide Web software, www software to run that private network. So such a network is called an intranet. If that private network is not using the www software, it will not be called an intranet. Firewall may be implemented in both the software or the hardware. As we discussed in the previous video that these attacks could occur through hardware or through software. So these firewalls can be implemented in hardware or in software. So these are some of the prevalent techniques used by the firewalls. How firewalls actually prevent these threats? Packet level filtering, circuit level filtering, application level filtering and proxy server. Proxy server is actually the most easy form of a firewall. What is done is that a server is established of which the computer network or the nodes attached don't know anything about it. So all the traffic to and fro has to go from that proxy server. That proxy server will check all the traffic whether there is any uh, virus or trojan or worm there and if it is not there then only it will be allowed to go inside. Next is application level filtering. As you already know in a computer network there are application servers. So those servers have tight security, tight firewalls there. So anybody who is accessing any network that is accessing that application has to go through that wire, firewall. It is very secure, it improves the security 100 times but it makes the application very slow. Next let's come to two, packet level filtering and circuit level filtering. We have known that there are two switching techniques, packet level and circuit level. What happens in packet level? We divide the file or the data that is to be transferred into different small packets so that they may go through the network very easily. What happens in packet level filtering is that each packet that is going out or coming in is checked individually. How this is done? This is done by using the ID or the IP address of each user. So this is very effective but anyone who can say that I am this IP address will be allowed. So anybody who is unauthorized but has the IP address from that network can cross the packet level filtering and inject viruses or trojan into our system. The next is circuit level filtering. What happens in circuit level filtering is that the security mechanisms or the security protocols are 
used when the circuit is being established. Say node 1 wants to communicate with node 2. When that communication level is being established at that point of time the security mechanisms are implemented. So, these are the four techniques used by firewalls. In fact, in reality a firewall may use any one technique, two techniques or a combination of more techniques to ensure that there is no security threat. So, in this video we have seen what a firewall is, how it works. In our next video, we are going to learn about cookies.